Hi, I'm Kim with Woodland Scenics. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to color plaster rocks with Earth Colors liquid pigments. Earth Colors liquid pigments are unique colorants in natural earth tones. They're designed to mix and blend with each other. With several pigments available, many combinations can be created to color your rocks any way you want. Now let's get set up for our first demonstration. The technique we're going to use is referred to as the leopard spot technique. You select one dominant color, two secondary colors, and accent with black. I've chosen yellow ochre and burnt umber as my secondary colors and raw umber as my dominant color for our first demonstration. These pigments come heavily concentrated, so the first step is to dilute them with water to create washes. You'll want to start by diluting your secondary colors and black, one part pigment to 16 parts water, and your dominant color, one part pigment to 32 parts water. These dilution ratios are a good place to start. If you want your washes darker, just add more pigment, and for lighter washes, add more water. The diluted pigments can be applied with a scenic sprayer or dabbed on with a foam applicator or brush. Begin your leopard spotting with the lightest of the secondary colors. Apply in random spots covering approximately one-third of the rock casting. Apply the second color on random spots in a similar amount. Allow the colors to run and overlap. Be sure to leave some areas white. The next step is adding your dominant color over the entire rock. Since this pigment is diluted more than the secondary colors, it can be applied over the entire rock, giving it a dominant color without overtaking the other colors. If you're not happy with the outcome, you can spray hot salt water over your rock, lightening it enough to start over. I'm happy with my results, and I'm going to go ahead and seal my rock using scenic cement. Once your scenic cement has dried, now is the time to add your black wash. You'll want to cover your rock completely, allowing the black to flow into the cracks and crevices to accent them, giving it another element of realism. Once the black wash is dried, finish the rock with a final coat of scenic cement. For our second demonstration, I'm going to make more of a solid gray colored rock. I'm going to choose stone gray and black for my secondary colors, and stone gray again for my dominant color. Both the stone gray and the black will be mixed one part pigment to 16 parts water, just as before. You'll begin by making leopard spots of stone gray and black. If you'd like it to be darker, repeat the leopard spotting with both colors, hitting different spots. Once you're happy with your leopard spotting, you'll want to double the water in the stone gray, making it one part pigment to 32 parts water to apply it as your dominant color. Brush the more diluted stone gray over the entire rock to pull your leopard spotting together. Once you're happy with the results, spray with scenic cement. Now that your scenic cement has dried, finish with an overall brush of black wash. The black wash again flows into the cracks and crevices to accent them. When this is dried, spray with scenic cement to seal your rock. As you can see in these few samples, there are a multitude of possible rock looks that can be achieved using this process with Earth Colors liquid pigments. The process and products are fail safe for any modeler and can give you realistic model rocks. If you'd like to find out more information or more videos on modeling, visit us at woodlandscenics.com.